Baleage is a wonderful way to preserve forage of high quality for either beef or dairy or, or any other category of animal. Uh, what we are doing is it's allowing us to put up uh, forage at a higher moisture quality, moisture content. It means that we don't need as many days in between periods of rain and we can put forage up without it getting rained on and losing the quality that occurs during a rain incidence. Now we can uh, make baleage at about any moisture content between 25% and 70%. So that's the good news is we don't even need to know exactly what the moisture is. We can just go wrap it and it will be preserved. Now, if we make our baleage above 50% moisture, then we have fermentation that occurs in that bale. Uh, so we wrap it with plastic, we exclude the oxygen, uh, the plant respires a little bit, uses up what oxygen was in the bale, and then when it's anaerobic or lacking oxygen, then the lactic acid producing bacteria grow within that baleage and they uh, convert starches and sugars to lactic acid. Uh, lactic acid is uh, somewhat a preservative. We can think of it almost like pickling something uh, when we add vinegar. It's the same concept to put it in an acid context and, and it doesn't mold. So wet baleage above 50% is preserved by being wrapped in plastic and being maintained without oxygen and it is preserved with the acid that is produced by those bacteria. Now, <clears throat> the bacteria do not really change the forage quality of the baleage because the starch and sugar was very digestible. The acid is a natural product and very digestible to the animal. Uh, the acid in the baleage will help a little bit preserving when we go to feed the bales because as soon as we open a wrapped bale, it again is exposed to air and then bacteria and fungi begin to grow. Now, if that bale is consumed within eight to 12 hours, uh, no problem. But if we're going to take a couple days to feed those animals, then we will have time for heating to occur because of the growth of the fungi. And we will also have then uh, some loss of quality in that forage. So the fermentation that occurs in wet wrapped baleage does not change quality but does help preservation on feed out. Now we can also wrap bales anything below 50% moisture and that bale is preserved just because again we keep it without oxygen and the bacteria and the fungi need oxygen to grow. So we won't have acid production in the bale but we will have it be preserved. So we can wrap a baleage that is what I would call wet hay. We might get it down to 25 or 30 percent moisture. We wanted really to make a hay out of it and we see that uh, the thunder clouds are forming. We might then quickly go in and bale and wrap that, uh, put it up at 25 or 30 percent moisture uh, just to uh, keep it from getting rained on. Now, the reason that we do not recommend wrapping below 25% moisture is because the stems get a little bit brittle and they will tend to tear the plastic more as we are trying to wrap. Now, with a net wrap bale, this is less of an issue and you might be able to go drier, but it is more difficult as the stems get more brittle and particularly on square bales. So, we can make baleage at any moisture content from 25 up to 70% moisture. On the wet end, we have fermentation to aid the preservation. Over the entire range, we simply have the uh, lack of oxygen.